Welcome, Dream Team. Uh, this is the crew that has been shepherding Peace First's leadership over the past few years and will be the bridge that will be shepherding Peace First into its next chapter. What's been the journey as, as a leadership team? Um, what's it felt like? What are some memories? What's been hard? What's been awesome? What have you learned? Tell, tell the story of, of coming together as the organization's leadership team and, and what that's been like. It's been a lot of transitions. I feel like I probably am the OG of the leadership team here. <laughs> um, I think that leadership journey has, well, personally for me, I definitely think Peace First has humbled me um, quite a lot. Let's really take a step back and really think about leadership. It's not about intentions, right? And it's the same thing with everything. Nothing's intention. It's about impact. And I think that the experience has been so humbling, not just in, in getting that awareness of, 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 of the depth and breadth of your leadership skills, but also what it means for the person receiving it. We do a lot and we shoulder a lot of, 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 of responsibility day to day and ultimately serving a mission that serves young people. My learning moments were also with young people and what does that leadership look like and how do you um, how do you manage with compassion and empathy and how do you not focus on the bottom line but focus on the growth. Um, so there's been a lot of, 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 of growth and evolution, I think. For me, this is a, a, a relatively new space to operate in. I was lucky to work first with Dalia Khan, then with me to join it, because I learned a lot about how to look at this world. Then having people push you, and not all, not only pushing you, but as well take the lead and like uh, drive that bus uh, themselves and just putting you uh, next to them to, to make sure that you are learning along the way. That was such a beautiful journey so far. What is really great about this group here is that we're all, I think, incredibly aligned on the outcome and the vision and mission of what we need to accomplish, right? It's like, keep your eye on the ball. We have to transition really well. If we bungle the transition, nothing else matters. There is no more peace first. And so how do we make sure, right, we're all staying so aligned on that end game? And I think that's something that this team just inherently understands. You all are doing the, the leadership of transition, which is really powerful and complicated. And we put lots of adjectives in there. As you help guide the organization from one CEO structure to another, I'm curious what that's been like um, and how do you think about leading in this moment? Um, and maybe a little bit about what your hopes are for what comes next as a, as a nice place to wrap up. So it's a lot to juggle um, and it's, it's mostly exciting um very challenging but you know couldn't to dream of doing it with a better crew the foundation is going to be very strong and, and i'm very proud of the work that we're doing in creating those um, systems and those roots the challenges that we are facing today because we are small nonprofit, finding that place where everyone feels committed and that regret is increasing is a big challenge and i think we've been facing that a lot yet what's coming next is big and i think we are on the right track to reach that point you know, I feel like you've watered us and you've built the roots already and you had a vision. And now, you know, you're asking other people, inviting others to tend to this garden, you know, and I hope we'll grow into a powerful forest that's going to make changes in the world. And uh, I think we're almost there. I think we can do it. And I think my hope when I think about Peace First in a year, three years, 30 years, is I can't wait for it to look super different. There are gonna be things that I think come up that none of us have ever dreamed about. And it's gonna be brilliant and it's gonna be amazing. I think there are things that like I, on this flip side, I'm for certain like peace first at its core, whatever we call it, whatever programs we have, whoever our co-CEOs are gonna be is never gonna change, right? Like our values are always gonna be about youth-centered leadership. The rest is dressing, right? Like how we get there, who we bring in, and who our leaders are. And so I'm so excited to see what new ideas come forward, how we evolve and iterate programming, how staff roles grow and evolve to rise to the occasion for what the new leaders bring in. Um, and so I can't wait for the future. Thank you for, for this hour together, for your leadership, uh, for the learning we've done together the fights we've had, the laughter we've had. Um, you make it easy to leave because um, I know a few people who 
um, love the organization as much as I do, um, and you are them. Thanks. <laughs>